Another round of frustration in the months long process to update Virginia's history education. It's a process that might be hard to follow, which includes months of meetings, revisions and documents dating back years. Alex Little Hales reports on who's now chiming in on the issue and the concerns it leaves moving forward. Disapproval and disappointment. It's frankly, the bottom line to me is insulting. Today, the Virginia Commission of Civic Education sent a letter of disapproval to the state school board of education, criticizing its lack of progress in adopting new history standards of learning, a process the state completes every seven years. This comes weeks after a recently written draft drew overwhelming criticism and disapproval because of omissions from elementary school education over race and world history. And it comes months after the state board decided not to adopt an already completed draft started under the Ralph Northam administration. Uh, I mean, in an ideal world, I think the August standards are what we should use, but I don't think I think that ship has set sail. Now, three history and education organizations in Virginia merged both versions into one document. It's a color coded document that uses elements from both the November draft and the August version. As of Thursday, it's now the document the commission hopes the state board moves forward with. They hope it cuts through alleged political bias. Put out the November standards after the meeting. They put out the nine groups that helped shape those standards, right? And they were all out of state. They were all very ideologically right wing. Commission members also say that based on the current timeline for completing these history standards, it could be roughly one year behind schedule. I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. And the next Board of Education meeting is scheduled for February, but members could call a special meeting in January if needed.